Well, good morning, everybody. Man, it's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, sorry about that. I've just been busy the last couple days and I guess a couple weeks by the time this video gets out there. Um, exciting news, hopefully, be able to share. Um, but today, uh, I wanted to, as cliche as it might be or as mundane as it might be, I want to kind of comment on a couple of things that, uh, that have happened over the last two days or so. And uh, I'm sure not the only one that has talked about this. I'm, I know for a fact I probably won't be the last. But um, I'm sure everyone has seen by now uh, the Oscars uh, with Will Smith and Chris Rock, that whole whole thing that, uh, that just happened. And um, it's so easy, I find, um, not just with that, but with a lot of things in life. Um, it's so easy to jump to a conclusion simply because we like answers better than we like understanding, you know, which is also the reason we get cut up, caught up in lies a lot of the time, because we take the answer that makes sense without really understanding. And uh, more than anything that, you know, we have to, you know, in our relationship with God, we got to understand him. We can't jump to conclusions with what we think he might want, what we think he might like. You know, you build that relationship, you walk with him daily, you approach every situation with him as if it was the first time, um, even if you feel like you've been through something before. And uh, some of the most difficult things to be to deal with, and I've talked about this in my emotional healing video, uh, which is emotions and feeling and mental health. Those are tough things to deal with. And they're some of the, among, some of the most uh, dumbfounding things, you know, it seems like every time we experience something like that, um, it's like it's happening for the first time, and we almost wonder to ourselves, like, why isn't, why am I not learning? You know, why, why is this, why does this seem to be a, re a repeated pattern in my life? Um, and I just want to quote C.S. Lewis again. I was listening to C.S. Lewis last night as I was working, um, and it, I just love it. I, I just find the way the Lord speaks with to him and works through him is so similar to me um you know everything from c.s lewis seems like a proverb um and he said something quite profound he was um i was reading his book surprised by joy or rather listening to his book surprised by joy not so good at reading but uh, listening makes it easier especially if you want to read read a good book but you can't seem to pick it up um and he's he talks about in this part of the book anyway he's talking about the relationship he had with his uh, father and older brother and himself, you know, the three of them, the kind of relationship that they had. And um, he laments with the whole idea that his uh, his father and uh, his older brother and himself had more of a brother relationship than, he, than two sons and a father. And um, he talks about things in their relationship, the way they would interact and after every one of them, he says, you know, sensation is sensation. And that's the quote I want you to want you to hold on to because it's, um, it's a lot deeper than you might think. And, um, and he says, you know, my father would listen, but, you know, he would, uh, he would always come to the wrong conclusions. He wouldn't be able to recall what ha was happening in conversations. And uh, it just seemed like he wasn't present in C.S. Lewis's life and his brother, brother's life. And he would say, you know, sensation is sensation. In other words, you know, feeling is feeling. Um, the way something feels can be a powerful, powerful thing. But it is often, and not always, it's often not the same as truth. And so, to get back to the Oscars thing. You know, we saw Chris Rock make a joke. You know, directed at uh, Jada Pickett-Smith. And was it a... Was it a, a harmful joke? Yeah. You know, he didn't, he may not have known the condition that she was dealing with, with the hair loss. Um, but in the very same vein, you know, in life, and I'm sure you know this, um, in life, you're going to find people that, that will tear you down on purpose and that will tear you down by accident. Um, and you're going to run into both. And the problem is both of them feel the same way. You know, you there. You don't uh, when you're feel when you're hurt like that. Uh, there's no 
doesn't seem to be a distinction in your mind of what of what the truth actually is and uh, and that's the problem with uh, with walking and living with emotions like we do they can be a powerful way to engage in worship um, they can rise up in us as we worship God but at the very same time they can they can run out of control and they will almost always lead to poor consequences you know poor situations when they're not in check and then when that happens you see exactly what happened at the Oscars you saw an emotional reaction when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock across the face and in the very same vein and perhaps you know this will be in the next next video and you saw his reaction afterwards as he gave his speech for the uh, for the movie that he won the award for and um and that's uh that'll be in another video maybe tomorrow maybe later today maybe right after this one i don't know um but that's that's where things can get foggy and we can really miss um where the truth is and that's even more the case you know with people who are not following god are not living in a, a lifestyle that is approved by God, where God can freely operate, you know, when he's not given liberty in your life, you know, God give, gives us free will. He doesn't force himself on you. And so if we're determined, bound and determined to ignore him and to go the other way, you know, he's not going to stop you. And so in, in other words, it, it means that we have to be very, very careful with, as C.S. Lewis says, the sensation or feeling that we allow ourselves to be um, enveloped by you know it can be as much as it can be a, a way to express our worship to God it can also be the very thing that causes us to do the most foolish things and the thing with foolish things you know we think it ends with that moment but it can have you know world crushing consequences in your life and so I would caution you the same way C.S. Lewis cautioned uh, as he told this story about his uh, his relationship with his father and his older brother um, you know, sensation is sensation, feeling is feeling, but truth is not the same thing, the way things really were. And he, he would share, share it a little later about how that really affected his life and his relationships and the way he approached people. Um, he often found himself wanting to be alone. He didn't like, um, you know, participating in something simple as this game, in a, you know, in the schoolyard. And so we, we think that the traumas and stuff that we endure, you know, the things that we do to ourselves or are done to us, uh, we think it stops where that moment stops. But uh, if we remember, if we've learned anything, especially from the mental health video, trauma doesn't end at the moment. You know, you, you break your leg one day and you don't roll out of bed the next day able to walk outside of a miracle, of course, from the Lord. But you know that the leg is broken. The problem is that society tells you, um, and society has told me, you know, if you have suffered hurt, whether that's physical or emotional, in whatever form, you're told to walk it off. And the Lord is telling you, don't. If you need to stop, stop. That is what you must do. You need to deal with the things that are going on in your life as they happen. Because as we saw at the Oscars, those are the consequences you will face if you don't. And even more so, you know, when you're walking without God as, as Will Smith is. Or I'm sure at least of who he is. You know, of who he is as a person. So just want to thank you for for watching and listening and hopefully it'll be try to be i'm gonna try to be more frequent with my videos i've just been busy the last couple weeks with a lot of big decisions and planning for things i'm not sure yet um but yeah thanks again for watching and uh hopefully i'll be able to comment on this uh more in the next video but uh until next time let's be reasonable and uh god bless you and thank you for watching